big big old pimp I just woke up to. I'm at McDonald's, as y'all know. I pulled up to the thing from put my phone out. They said pull up to the window. <laughs> they already knew. They should. I mean, well, like they told me to pull up to the window immediately as soon as I wind the window down. I'm looking confused. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what happened? But and I looked up. I'm like, that's a security camera. So maybe they look through there. I don't know. I don't know how they see you, but I think they can. And I'll be opening up the library today. It is Friday. I'll be opening up the library since my coworker isn't here. I don't know if she's gonna be here for the rest of the day. I know she gotta do something. So she's not here in the morning. I don't know what's going on there. And usually the way I go out. Oh, we still here. We still here, they just cut off. And I love when I see them like, what, what happened? <laughs> They took the whole wall down, they just blocked off. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they finna build, if that is the wall, they finna build a piece of wall to cut that off. That actually could like be a cute little study area, but it's kind of small, but that's what the tables are. I will let these lights stay off today if I can. The only thing is I gotta open up doors, so. I'm probably not gonna open the reserve room. I finished everything just in time. It is 7.59 on the computer. I have to all the computers open up all the doors. Actually, I have two more to open. Yet. And y'all know what I just realized too. I know it's like the, uh, the third time I'm talking about hair and nails and stuff. But I mean, it's a part of my lifestyle. It's a part of, it's a part of the channel. It's a part of everything. That's where we're gonna be getting the content from. So I'm trying to update y'all and stuff on how I'm probably gonna be doing things. But y'all know what I realized and remember? I can write this stuff off because I plan on showing it to y'all and documenting it for my YouTube channel. Y'all don't get paid from, but I still pay for it, and as in a form of content. So. I don't even have to do the paying people thing. I can still just like the other little nails or whatever. Like I showed y'all with the glue or whatever. I can write that off because I showed it to y'all. And it's going to be a piece of content type thing. So... As soon as I press run, it stopped. I am going back and forth, back and forth. I'm trying to fill out these forms. Um, do these, I almost forgot about these. And I have to do these and I almost forgot about them. So, I gotta go and do that. I still gotta fill out those papers. Group them with the books, got ready to take that. I pulled them yesterday. But I have to fill out the papers. I gotta go help someone as well. <laughs>
clearly again. I think it's like what, 7.51? I got the car at like 7.49, so. Um, the reason why I'm coming early is cause like simply, I'm ordering my food online, so I'm getting here. Cause I'm leaving, I'm trying to leave around like 7.30 something. I was 7.40, but I feel like when I leave at 7.40, I end up getting my food around like late 7.50 and I'd be late, right? But when I leave at 7.30, I get here like 7.40, <laughs> so. But that's what I noticed and that's why I just started coming early because by the time, I don't know, it felt like when I was ordering it straight up, I was getting here like exactly at eight, maybe two minutes late. But, I mean, it's still the same, I'd say. Put my stuff down. I do not mind my pimples. My chin is my worst area. My chin breaks out terribly. I didn't turn this one off. Oh, my chin is on. I'm gonna come out of that one. Like my chin is horrible. And then it broke out even more. And I know why it breaks out. It's just like any type of germs, oil, anything. It's so sensitive on my chin. And then the rest of my face is just dry. Like my forehead right now. My forehead is extremely dry. And see, look, it's good to come in early. <laughs> Just talking. But um, I had a student go ahead and come in here. I told her to drop off. The book she's doing return and the students what they don't know is that they don't have to stand there and wait for us to do anything we just have to go in there and scan it so we have a return area just no one puts any books in it they give it to us and stand there the entire time when they don't need to so i just think you can just go ahead and leave it there i got it because they don't need to do that so yeah i don't want to waste somebody's time and especially because it's not even like exactly eight yet i can do that when i get finished eating just remember to scan it in and then sensitize it for the security and then put it on the shelf for work stuff to put up. Hopefully we should have uh, those labels and my coworker said she's gonna order them. I had slick thought about ordering them, but I'm but I'm extremely low on money right now. So, cause you can write it off and stuff. Um, but she said she was gonna order them. Hopefully she did and hopefully they're already here or coming sometime this week because there's just like y'all, them shells I showed y'all in them previous videos that I'm be linking in um in these videos at random, of course. But we have had those back there for like a few weeks because we have not been able to get those labels in to put on top of the other labels to protect them to then have works that go put them on the shelves because we've been waiting before that we do the carpet and stuff. We've been waiting to put them up and thank God we have work study right now because we don't have to do that. Like in here, I had work study go ahead and pull everything because we had to do these these are um the newest books are from 2015 and on down so these stay in the collection but y'all remember when i told y'all we had this test so i had one of our work study students who came in a little early load this load this, this whole thing entire thing onto one cart tomorrow within like an hour or two yesterday not yesterday you know it was the weekend i'm gonna go downstairs and see what they got they have like that little block bra like i showed y'all they say it ain't much but like a little cup of lemonade some popcorn, which I think is like in pre-made bags. And then cotton candy, that's it. <laughs> and then they also got fake tattoos. Have been acquired. I'm a little bit crazy, but I'm a little bag. 
popcorn. And the hot cream cheese. But at least it's fresh popcorn though. Like if it was in the bag, I mean I still probably eat it. Not only do we sell retail, but we sell private label. This is our custom private label sample order form where you can select a lid color and a fragrance vendor. This order form is for custom fragrances that we do not currently offer in our regular private label bulk ordering form. But here you can list any scent that you would like to try up to 12 and minimum of six as we would like to get the most out of shipping costs. Here you enter your personal details so that we may invoice you later with your total pricing. Each sample costs $42 not including shipping or tax. So the minimum order price is $252. As you can see here, we make two candles, one for you and one for me. One candle is for our testing and the other is for yours. So you can be included in this phase and you have your say so in the final product. Once you've decided which fragrances you would like to go with, we will add those fragrances to our bulk private label sample order form. Order now and get started building your brand. so beautiful they almost look like cornbread i haven't made these in so long i forgot how they look and how they feel it's so soft and spongy i think they're done they they're pretty much coming out as brown around there i'm just glad the the half pan is good because i know that they can cook faster if there's no more heat to put over there to be even This ain't. <laughs> I just iced it real quick for my mom, but I ended up making about 30 of them. We've got our package from Candle Science. I got all my fragrances. I participated in that. Um, they had a sale for 50% off, so I'm like, let me just go and get some fragrances. There's only like a few that were on my mind, which is one is very vanilla. That's the one I've been wanting to try for so long because I love vanilla and I want a vanilla scent. And I haven't smelled vanilla in a long time. But I got a few other fragrances. I wanted to save some money, but I was like, it's a special deal that may not always be here. So I'm like, I get paid around this time. Let's just go ahead and get some fragrances. And then they give me some content because some of the blogs, I want to put some candle stuff in. I don't just want to be lifestyle. I want some business of being a two. It's an entrepreneur life blog. So I'm going to set it up over here and show y'all what I got.
so so i can see we got a whole box of them so i just got some thumbnail shots in which i need to get in the habit of a, of but okay so first up we have lavender embers palo santo and sandalwood cashmere musk lily of the valley even though I think I tried that scent before, even though I think it's from a different company, I did not like it, or it was okay and it just did perform well. Cranberry Prosecco. This is vel velvet vanilla. Oh. And this one is very vanilla. Wild Honeysuckle. Centel and Coconut. I actually really do like the vanilla coconut, which I did not realize. Sweet Vanilla and Caramel. Now, y'all know I don't like caramel, and I don't like countertop caramel, but I got it, so. Midnight Blackberry. That one sounds interesting. Cucumber Water and Melon. I've been wanting to try some of that for the longest because I like cucumber melon watery scents. And this is Honeydew Melon. I don't have high expectations for that one at all. Pink Sugar Crystals. That one is like a really old scent that I've been thinking about trying. But I would not buy it by itself to try, honestly. And then we got clean cotton. I like cotton scents that I realized it just didn't work for me. And then we got fresh coffee. I hope it's not one that I already have. And then we have beach linen. Okay, so what we got? Okay, so I'm going to be reviewing these candle science sets that I just got in, in which I got around almost, I know I got more than 10, more and less than 50, more than 10 and less than 20, I think. So let's get started. So let's go with the first in the lineup. We have cucumber, water, and melon. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, so at first it reminded me of like gas station bathroom. Like almost every, I think florals just remind me of that because it's always what you smell in um, a public bathroom. And I smell the bottle, just in general, it smells like candy. I like it. So I'm going to set that into the yes pal. Ooh, I want to say very vanilla for last, or like around me because that's the one I've been wanting to try the longest, and it's vanilla. So let's try Wild Honeysuckle because I think this is a newer Honeysuckle, and I think there's another, there's, there's two of them. I thought this was the older one. This is actually the new Honeysuckle, I think. So let's try that. It smells like Magnolia and Peony. It really does. It smells stronger. It smells exactly like uh, Magnolia and Peony. And Magnolia and Peony is like a really good thrower. I'm going to put it to the side. Because I don't know. It smells exactly like that. I want to test it still. Because it could smell different. I don't know. Um, And I'm thinking if so, if that one is stronger or smells better, cheaper, whatever, then I can just replace the one that I have now. Because that smells exactly like that, honestly. Okay, so now on to Santel and Coconut. There's a lot of wood scents that I want to try. Not really, but I want to just because. Like Santal and if I got one, Papa Santal. I've heard, I've heard a lot about that, but I have no idea what those are. So. <sighs> so, really, all I can really smell is those packing peanuts because their packing peanuts have a smell to them. So, I, yeah, I smell that on the bottle. I like this one. It smells like something I've smelled before, at like Bath and Body Works or something. I don't think it's Bath and Body Works. Mm, I like it. It almost smells cologne -y. I like that. Okay. Lily of the Valley. Even though I think I smelled this before. I'm not sure if it was this company. I think it was the Flame Candle. Some company. Oh, yeah, this, this is different. Gas station for sure. Mm -hmm. No, I remember. Yep. I know what it smells like. I'm not gonna say it's stank. It's not, I wouldn't buy it, but it's not stank. This smells like those magazines, and like you can open the magazine and like, it's like a rubbing sniff, like a scratching sniff. You can smell it. 
in like those perfume magazines back in the day this is what it smells like okay and then let's do ooh, cranberry prosecco that's enough said for this like this smells amazing okay so velvet vanilla my camera kept cutting off so it didn't get my initial reaction but it smells like berry vanilla mixed with a cologne and I actually smelled somebody who smelled like this like a few hours ago when I was at work but berry vanilla it's it's well it smells better now y'all know those butterscotch can candies it smells like butterscotch yep and it also smells like acetone like a uh, fingernail remover that's what it smells like terribly when I first opened it but the camera didn't get that okay so my camera kept cutting out so hopefully i have more storage now it is tuesday morning after after labor day so we had uh monday off now let's go to pink sugar crystals now i did review this one too and i think cranberry prosecco and i think that's where i left off at um and let me see so this is pink sugar crystals mm -hmm. this like y'all know okay one it smells good so there's three over here, right? That are my yes, like definitely yes. Try test pile, right? And to recount, adding cranberry prosecco because looking back to my footage, I did actually give y'all the re reaction to cranberry prosecco. It wasn't very detailed, but it smelled amazing. And it, hands down, it smelled amazing. Probably the best out of all of them. Um, and then midnight blackberry. I think this is the one I was gonna try uh, the other time that I was reviewing. It almost smells apple-y. It smells like apples a little bit. Yeah, it, but it does have that, whew, it has a hint of a fruit basket. Mmm, and like a fresh perfume. It's, it's very, it's very, it's, it's mixed for me, I'm gonna be honest. Now we have cashmere musk. Okay, this one smells like a soap to me. It smells like cologne, but it smells like a soap. And it obviously smells like musk, so that's pretty much all I smell is the musk. Okay, so now we have Palo Santo and Sandalwood. Ooh. This is different. It, remind, it brought me back to like elementary, middle school, high school teacher. Middle school teacher. Cologne, a male cologne. It smells nice. This is something I would definitely want in my uh, in my collection. Something like that. Most definitely. Now we got Lavender Embers. I'm excited for this one, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> it reminds me of my grandmom's car. She's a smoker. And it was old. It was an old car. Mm-hmm. This one may need be a no. It, <laughs> it's not terrible. It's just, it's not the best. It don't even smell like smoke. It smells like old leather. I smell no lavender. <laughs> Let's go fresh coffee. This is one I've been excited to try. I wanted their coffee scent. I hope this isn't that other coffee scent because y'all remember last time in that review it was another coffee scent their newest coffee scent and they had that caramel in it i didn't like it so i'm hoping this is the actual previous coffee and i got the right one because you know they kind of rebranding certain scents mm. smells like coffee honestly it smells, it smells more of black coffee it's not what I was looking for. It smells like coffee, but it doesn't smell like the coffee that I was looking for. Either I had to mix it, ooh, ah, or go for a different coffee, honestly. Yeah, ooh, that's, that's coffee. That is coffee. I think this will still work though. This is something I'll add for other people. It can still work, because people are heavy coffee drinkers and they might want like a legit just coffee scent, black, straight up black coffee. 
And now we have sweet vanilla caramel. Y'all know I don't like caramel scents, especially for candle science. But it said vanilla and it was new. And let's try it just in case. You never know. Okay, so this one is a lot less heavy on that caramel toffee. I think I prefer caramel, just not toffee. Toffee is just a darker, it's just darker than me. And if I don't like it, that's what I call it, toffee. This smells more like butterscotch in a way. I'm, I'm getting an acetone. So their vanilla has an acetone smell. Okay, now I just smell nothing but acetone. So I get a hint of butter, butterscotch, caramel, and it smells sweet. But I get a lot of acetone too. I, I, I get acetone. Like, <laughs> I get acetone. Maybe it'll burn different. I don't know. Shoot, I'd be scared to burn. That's okay. Let's go beach linen. <sighs> public bathroom. <laughs> Does it stink? But public bathroom. I don't, it's, it's not even a linen smelling scent to me. It just smells like a fresh scent. Public bathroom. There you go. Clean cotton. I'm interested in the clean cotton scent because I realize I actually like those. So let's hope they smell good. Mmm. Okay. This reminds me, I tried a scent from when I was, when I first got introduced to candle making, I was breaking wax melts and bubble candles, right? Before I sold all this stuff off. Yeah. I had a scent that, uh, from the flaming candle called Downy. This smells just like Downy. The fragrance, the uh, what's it called? Laundry detergent smells exactly like it. And then last we have Honeydew Melon. I got through these kind of quick. <laughs> I hate when those little like white tops come off. Ooh. Mm. This reminds me of something, a, a candy, it's a candy. It reminds me of a candy back in the day when I was younger. Yeah, two of these scents. It was this and I figured they would probably smell the same. I was thinking it because they're both melon scents. Cucumber, water, and melon. This smells like a candy too, right? Okay, smelling this one again, it smells more of like bathroom, but okay, now it smells more candy because at first it smelled like bathroom florals. Now I'm getting the candy, but it smells like this smells like this on sh on steroids, but more of the candy scent. Yeah, it smells like it's a uh, now it smells like perfume. Mm, I like that. I remember what it uh, reminds me of. I think hubba bubba. It remind for some reason I got a memory of a candy, but me chewing it and it was thick, <laughs> and it was very hard to chew through. Hubba bubba, that hubba bubba uh, gum. That old gum, that, that thick square gum. That's what this reminds me of. I really like it. So I'm gonna go back over these and kind of like, I don't know because I kind of have them separated by my favorites. And then I also have the ones that are like, not bad, but I'll still try them. And then the other one is like, I don't really like them or care for them, but I'll still try them because they don't stink. We just gotta see if they work and if they perform differently. So amongst my favorites, we have pink sugar crystals. Honeydew Melon, Cranberry, and Prosecco. Mm. Okay, so my first three uh, are the ones I mentioned. Peach, Sugar Crystals, Honeydew Melon, and Cranberry Prosecco. Santal and Coconut is in my next pile of like, I like the smell of it. Is it my favorite? No, because these are like that fruity candy scent that are addicting and I will spray on myself and this is more like a I could also say a manly masculine scent so I wouldn't personally choose it but it smells nice because I that because of that coconut clean cotton I do like a a fresh scent this just smells basically out of the rest of them I would probably I would really choose a linen scent I'll be honest with you but it smells like it's a very nice fresh scent so it will go with the others because not a personal favorite but it smells it does smell nice and then cucumber water and melon it's on and off it's really on and off because it smells like all the other florals 
to me. It really does. I'd say the only dislike or the almost no that I have is lavender embers, in which I figured it was lavender and basically smoke. So, but yeah, so those are basically, if anything, my top four. Okay. But that is the lineup. So I will definitely try these. I will try all of them, of course. I pay for them. I'm gonna try them. But these are my definitely favorites. So this is all the okay pal except for that this one that will go out and then this is like uh things that i try but they're okay and these are my definite favorites and i'll probably say this first this second mm, this third and this fourth these two these two are switchable these two are almost switchable too because this reminds me of that roll-on oil that i have but i need to go back to the ball and go get me some more from the perfume man that we have and i like this one so i think i think this one is my first this one is my second these two can go back and forth but i think because this isn't a fruity uh a fruity candy scent i think it's gonna go here and then this is then it's gonna go forth so if i had to choose okay so i'm gonna outro this and put these up into this candle science box that i have because i need somewhere to store all these sample fragrances because I didn't really have because I had like one little small box video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm glad to be able to include some candle content because I want to do a good mix and not just personal and not just candles either. So yeah, so hopefully I'm mixing them well and you guys are enjoying these videos. This will be the end of this one. Um, I'm trying to be more consistent. So I've been uploading like almost legit every or every other uh, Wednesday each week. If you are a maker, there is a list of things in the description that you can use in which I have an Amazon store for right now, which was a goal of, goal of mine. I actually got, so thank God for that. And I also have individual links just for individual things that you may need that you, if you may not, if you want like a quick grab and go like click and, and buy instead of going through all of that other stuff on uh, Amazon storefront because there's a lot more things there and it's categorized by shipping supplies, shipping equipment, office supplies, uh, candle making supplies, wax and making supplies, all of that stuff, right? So there's an entire almost eight to ten list of that there. So if you want to support me there, you can do that. And you also get something in return. You're not just for, you're not just supporting me. You're also supporting yourself and your own business as well and your endeavors in life, increasing your opportunities and building your own brand. And if you like the things that I use and like how I make my videos, that can help you out. So you already know what I use. You can buy it there. And any of you who have supported me through those sponsorships and went and purchased or even clicked the link or even just engage with those companies, thank you so much as well because it helps me a lot, especially without having my channel monetized at the moment, which is my next goal this year it is in my business. And also please like, comment, and subscribe. Engage with me. Ask me any questions. And give me some updates on your business, what you like about my business, what you think I should include. Be nice about it though, because you will get blocked. <laughs> and recommend me any brands that you think I'd be interested in or I'd be interested in working with, because I do want to do my sponsorships and partnerships, things of that nature. Which mostly everything I've done is a partnership without a sponsorship because I don't get paid for them. I do get the products, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, especially because this platform is my lowest like I was telling y'all I just contact them and ask for a product in exchange for a review in which I was going to write an ebook about I just haven't put my time into it yet I was going to write an ebook about just learning how to do those things and contact people what to say and who to contact and how to make your brand look good even with low numbers and with some of my platforms definitely have low numbers. And this is the complete lineup of free news that we have. I don't know how many I got, but I got a lot. And I'm actually glad that this collection is going. I always wanted just like a whole bunch of just sample fragrances. I don't know why. I just really like that. But yeah, and I got this side just filled up with pack of peanuts so it doesn't shift and move around too much. So I upgraded from this small tiny box over there to this gigantic box over here.